Ladies and gentlemen, today is a good day. You know why? Because I'm Chris and today is review day. And today we're reviewing eTech City Boltson Smart Wi-Fi Outlet, capable of being used over, of course, Wi-Fi and the available app, but also you can connect it with Google Home and Alexa. You guys have probably seen these before. If you haven't, welcome to the new era of technology. You can automate your home. Each individual receptacle does come with a wonderful, fully grounded plug insert there three prong i will always of course have you guys linked in the description box below the video you guys in the u.s you will be linked up number one and you guys over in the uk i will have you guys linked as well if they sell in the uk if not one very similar to this we have an on and off button switch right there of course we have our regular plug here so of course that would go into the receptacle and then whatever you want to be controlled via wi-fi or alexa or google home you would plug in here. Left side, nothing. Bottom, we have a little bit of a what looks to be a light. We're going to go ahead and test that. Top, nothing. And then again, just the power button on the side there. Let's go ahead and see what we got going on here once we insert it here. So, of course, we just plug it on in. That might be a night light. I'm not exactly. Nothing's lighting up. If it does, I'll get that on film. So, if you want to manually turn it on, for some reason, if your internet's down, of course, just hit that side button. That will click on the power outlet, turn it off. Again, if for some reason your internet's bogged down or whatnot. Directions are very clear, so go ahead and read all that and do what you need to do before you hook it up. Let's run over some specs real quickly here. We have a wireless distance from outlet to router of 98 through 164 feet, 30 through 50 meters. Compatible systems, Android 4.3 or higher, iOS 8.0 or higher. Maximum power, 1800 watts. 15 amps, input 120 volt, 60 hertz. That, of course, is for the US model. Sweet. Now I have it upside down because my receptacle is upside down, unfortunately. But anyway, that light does work, but it has to be dark light detection for it to light up. So that's kind of nice. If you wanted like a little night light type thing, that's actually very nice. So we have into the plug here, we have, that's right, my LED floodlights for get-togethers, home theater system, you guys get the idea. So, we've downloaded the app that you need to download for eTech City. And again, you can buy multiple lights, many multiple lights. You can buy different ones. They offer a few different models. You can only set this up on a 2.4 gigahertz router. So if you have 2.4 and 5, which all modern ones do, switch over to 2.4. It will only work on 2.4. To save you some trouble so you don't have to go through this, I actually held it down for about 6 seconds and the blue light came on. But it was not as fast as this blinking. So that's, I was having trouble setting it up and connecting it to the Wi-Fi so I actually went back it was off and I held it down for 10 seconds this time it'll go into a slow beep into a fast beep like this blinking that means that you can finally connect through the app. Okay, we have the app hooked up right here. I know you guys are probably not gonna purchase it for this, but this is option. The app is really cool, but I'll show you the number one why people purchase this in just a second. But let's go over the app because the app is really cool. Okay, you have your on and off switch right there. You have your settings, of course. You can name it whatever you want. I named it party lights. You can turn on and off notifications. The night light, you can actually have on or off. Let's go ahead and click back there, the night light right there on and off you have a way a timer a schedule these are all really cool options especially if you're away from the home and you want to set a schedule or whatnot so if the tv turns on or whatnot you guys can come up with some really creative things to do but what's cool is the night light you can turn on and off which is really nice but that's obviously not the coolest part about this let me show you what the cool part is i'm covering up my name there but what is really cool is in the app you just come down here to the bottom right it says more and you can link it to alexa or link it to Google Assistant. Make sure you do that before the really cool stuff begins. Let me switch back over to my better camera here as I demonstrate this. Okay, now I have a couple of them hooked up, so I named them two different things. Okay, here we go. I, uh, of course, the same thing happens on Google Home, but I have Alexa. Alexa, turn on reading light. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Alexa, turn on party lights. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. That was real time, baby. Alexa, turn off reading light. Okay. 
whoa, I'm like seriously like Jarvis in Iron Man movie. Whoa, that's what I'm talking about. Look at those party lights, baby. Alexa, turn off party lights. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Alexa, turn on a reading light. A few things share that name. Which one did you want? Ooh, good call. Reading light. Okay. That's what I'm talking about tonight, baby. That is A-OK. -okay. Sorry, I forgot one more. Alexa, turn on patio lights. Oh yeah. Alexa, turn on party lights. Okay. Ooh, so you don't think I changed it up? Look at that. Ooh, look at that dancing going on. Alexa, turn off patio lights. Okay. Alexa, turn off party lights. Okay. Nice. Just make sure you go through the instructions on the app. It will show you how to connect it to Alexa. And you might have to kind of look into your, your Amazon Alexa app so that you can find those controlled devices in the skills section. It's pretty easy once you've already connected one, but again, the directions through the app make it pretty easy to do. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Get your hands on a couple of these at least. Automate your home. They're still fresh and new. Not too many people have seen these, and so it is a conversation starter right off the bat, especially if the lights. Now, I actually have a setting, not on those floodlights, but I actually have a remote control that you can actually doggle it through, so it can actually like start changing colors. That was just a solid one. Anyway, great Wi-Fi plug. Connects to Google Home or Amazon Alexa. So look in the description box below and it's going to be right down there, baby. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy it. Alexa, turn off reading light. Sweet. You guys have a great night. Smash that thumbs up button if it has helped you make a awesome robotic informative decision if you want to purchase it or not. Yes, that is my Keurig. I'm looking forward to that tomorrow morning. Hit that subscribe button because thumbs ups is ups and comings. If that made any sense. See you guys later.